All right, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to make particle systems um, a little more effective in 3ds Max. So I'm going to start off just with a spray. We'll do a super spray later. So we'll go ahead and make ourselves a spray. Um, and if we click render, we see it looks something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the facing. If we click render, it looks like that. And furthermore, if we add a texture, um, we can do some interesting things. So let's make ourselves a quick texture. We're going to use one that's transparent. So in Photoshop, I'm going to make a 512 by 512. And let's just have a nice little dot right there. Um, save as PNG. And we'll call it dot. All right. Um, come back here in Max. We'll go to the Material Editor. Oops. Um, next to the Fuse, click this little box. Click bitmap. Okay, now we can browse for dot. Um, we're going to step up one. So it made us map three. It was actually a tree structure, so go back up to one default and maps. And we see that that was actually our diffuse. We want to add opacity. And we're just going to drag dot down from here and tell it to make a copy. Click OK. And final thing, we're going to go in here and we want to change mono channel output to alpha. Now we see that effect right there. All right, let's drag this onto our spray. If I can get it, there we are. And now we click render and we see a bunch of dots. Now, the cool thing about this is if we count the dots, it should equal the number of particles. So it looks like there's 100. Um, if we go back to Photoshop and we do something like this, we add more dots and we can, you know, make them different sizes and we could even throw in different colors if we wanted to. And do all sorts of fun stuff. You could grab photos of dirt and things like that, make that an actual texture. Let's um, say this again as PNG again. And we'll just save over top of dot. Yep. Um, not the prettiest, but that's okay. Now if we click render, let's see the effect. Boom, now we have lots of these. Now this is a little squarish, so we could do some things in Photoshop and maybe not make it quite like this. Um, make, make it a little more random or um, make a bigger texture and don't do go so close to the edges because we just kind of uh, ended up making that squarish texture. And even just that one change might help a little bit. Under once more. Yeah, so we, we could play around with it a little more and also we could change our size somewhere in here. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Drop size if we get that. Uh, no, forget about that. Let's go to super spray. Um, that gives us better options anyway. So I'm gonna come back out and do super spray. All right, and if we click render, what does that look like right now? We just got a bunch of these dots. So Super Spray, we got to do something a little extra. Um, even though Super Spray has the facing type, um, for some reason, I don't know if it's a bugger, I just don't know how to do it. Um, if you do this by default, it's not going to show up correctly. Um, we'll show you what that looks like right now. It kind of grows, and if we drag that texture on, um, what ends up happening is... Um, it doesn't actually display the whole texture. Like you can see, it's getting some coloration from it or something, but it's not actually displaying the texture. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to choose instance geometry, and we need to make some geometry for it to instance. So we're going to create a plane. It can be anywhere. It doesn't need to be in your scene. Let's make it one by one. And... size doesn't really matter because you can adjust that once it's a particle anyway. Um, now let's go back to our super spray. And now that we have instance geometry checked, we have this pick object option. Click that. Click on that plane. And now if we take a look, let's see what happens. Boom. It still remembers from when we use the texture. And we got it like that. 
And now that we're in super spray, we can do all sorts of interesting things with the size growing over time and things like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and increase the spread a little bit. And where's our size? Here we are. So we can make those particles bigger so that they overlap and things like that. Yeah, so um, can tweak it. That's obviously not quite what we want. And if we want to get really small, might get some different type of effects going on. Um, and obviously we could uh, spend more time on our texture in Photoshop. You know, one thing, just in case you're not familiar, in Photoshop when you make a texture, if you want it to be transparent, by default this is usually white background, and so you change that to transparent, and that'll give you this checker so it can be a, a transparent. Um, uh, if you don't want to create something just with paintbrush, um, a nice website is textures.com, and they've got lots of things in uh, I don't know, gravel or under here underground gravel, um, and we could browse and choose some of this, bring that into Photoshop, and you know, play around. Um, yeah, maybe some of these guys would be nice. Um, I'm actually just gonna. Experiment for just a minute. Grab some of that and come into Photoshop. And let's paste that here. And I'm gonna. Where's my. Uh... Oh, there we are. Clone stamp tool. So let's grab a little bit bigger brush. And if we just do something like this, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. This might be horrible. Hold down Alt if you're not familiar to sample, and then click to draw, sample, draw, hold down Alt again, anywhere, and then without Alt. I already sense that I'm making it all squarish again, but. that layer that way we just have that and then we'll get rid of uh, get rid of that big blocky part <clears throat> yeah this is I, I should spend more time but this is good enough for right now our demonstration purposes we'll save one more time we'll overwrite dot okay and let's go back and see what it looks like in 3ds max Uh, we made those guys really small. Let's make them bigger again. Yeah. All right. So we could play around and, and get something that, that looks decent. Um, we could always, um, you know, go back to Photoshop and change the color of it. reddish or saturated or something. Yeah. All right. So that's that. Hope it's helpful.